So, Dad, you've been a funeral director now for 40 years. Um, we're talking about cremations here. Does the crematorium have uh, deal with any smoke or ash issues um, pouring out, like you hear in stories? Yeah, so the, the stories um, are very rare, but of course, when they happen, that's what people hear about. Um, so here at Kapiti Crematorium, we have a, a modern machine all run and controlled by our computer system, as explained in previous video. Um, ours is a hot hearth cremator. There are cold hearth cremators, which have very tall stacks and are more likely to have smoke. Ours, the smoke is drawn underneath, and so it's reburned. But sometimes something can happen, like someone can be wearing some uh, gum boots or waders or something that's got a lot of smoke ability and they might get a puff of smoke. If that happens, we've got a pollution control system. Let me take you over here. And you'll see up here in the base of the stack is a camera on this side, it's protected, and it literally runs through a little hole. It's not a glass, it's just a hole. So if there's any smoke, that would actually puff out, and the camera would pick it up, send it to the sensor. The sensor takes it back to the computer, and the computer then controls it. Believe it or not, we're not even here when that happens. We turn our computer on, we load the casket, we wait for one minute to make sure it's functioning right, and then we leave. Now, if there's another problem that's greater than that, we also have the system monitored through the states, through the supplier, and they can also see what we can see, and through modern technologies we know, they can jump on remotely, and they can take over and open a valve or close a valve if there's an issue. Um, it's a really great system, absolutely clean burning. What comes out of that stack, there is no smoke. Now, if there is smoke, it would have to be a failure, not a normal practice. So the camera might be broken or the computer might be broken. That's the sort of case you hear on the news um, or the media. It's not normal operation. It's a, it's a major issue. What is actually left after the end of the cremation? Is it wood, uh, ash, etc.? Yeah, really good question. What's left at the end? We call what's left in the cremator cremains, not ashes. And so we pull all those cremains forward into a container like we saw here. And then we take that over to our processing station. And I'll explain all about that in the next video.